Hey guys, today is not starting off very well. Um, I had to take like a whole bunch of Pepto and anti-diarrhea meds. Shit just got real, literally shit. Um, I'm not feeling well at all and uh, it's going around work because one of our um, supervisors went home sick last night and our other supervisor was sick with the flu so he wasn't there. Um, the plan for tonight is to just get all my stuff, such as the freezer, done and then just go home if I can't because I just, I don't have the energy and I just feel gross, like, I don't want to be running into the bathroom all night and as gross as that sounds, I don't want to like talk about it so that's all I have to say, I'm just not feeling well, I'm very sick, not very sick but I feel like I'm going to be very sick, like you know when you know you have the flu and it, it didn't really start yet but you know it's coming, that's how I feel and it's just blah and Sean kind of feels the same way, I, I didn't even eat supper, I didn't eat all day, I couldn't and um just I took two bites of my noodles and I just couldn't. I get heartburn right away and I just feel bleh. so she's doing a little bit better because she can eat. But she can eat anyway. She loves food. I know that if I don't <laughs> eat I'll feel way worse and if I do throw up then I'll freaking drive you. Cursing again. Sorry. Have to cut that out. Um yeah she's a bread monster so if there's ever bread she will eat it no matter what. Um, so I'm just gonna go for now and I'll let you know what happened. Hopefully we can stay at work until we're done. She has, see like her part is a lot bigger than mine, but I do like more different things while she's doing the one thing because it's so big. So when I'm done my part, I have to go clean offices and like other rooms and stuff, but she just stays exactly where she's at because it's so big. So I don't know what's gonna happen in like that kind of situation because I'm just gonna be rushing to get mine done um, but yeah I will catch up with you guys later and let you know what happened hey guys so I worked for three hours uh, Shauna actually went in and she was ready to work and then threw up at work so we had to go no I didn't go home I stayed there and she went home and I got my job done which I really wanted to get done it took me three hours and then I asked the supervisor if I could go home because there was no way that I was going to be able to make it any longer. Like I just, you know, that feeling when like the puke is in your throat, that's how I feel. And apparently uh, Shauna was talking to a nurse that lives um, close to like where she's from and there's a sickness going around that makes it feel like you have a lot of acid like uh, heartburn that that's how it starts off like heartburn and then it turns into like a stomach flu and like diarrhea and all that stuff so like you end up and it's, throwing it, it up hits and, you and then it goes away for like two or three days and then she said it comes back and it hits you and that's what it's like for me today I'm not feeling well. so yeah I got my work done I, I did three hours and he was like if you don't feel good tomorrow just let us know and I just I feel disappointed in myself but at the same time like what else could I have done I went to work on an empty stomach because I could not eat before I went to work and that really didn't help because three hours of like lifting really heavy hoses and jumping around and not literally jumping around but you have to like jump over things and like get under things and use the pressure washer and that like takes a lot of strength and like energy to continue doing for three hours so I'm actually proud of myself for doing that but at the same time I wish I could have got like six more hours and made it a day but um what can you do when you're not feeling well I did everything that I could I I'm just glad I at least tried so I know that I tried my best but right now it's kind of funny what we're doing we are parked at the beach and the reason why we're doing that is because the beach is 15 minutes away from our house in the middle of nowhere and I'm scared of my grandfather because if he knew I wasn't working right now he'd be mad at me regardless of how I felt. I could have mono, I could have like, I don't even know, I could have a lot of things. I could be like throwing up out my nose. Your phone call. I'll, I'll be back in a second, I'll finish that. Sorry. Okay. 
So like 20 minutes passed, so I'm gonna try not to forget what I was talking about. My grandfather, he comes from a time where it doesn't matter if you're sick, you do your work. And you know, you know how older people are, they're just hard headed and they'll do whatever they need to do. It's, it's not a bad thing, but it gets annoying because when you really, really don't feel good, they're still like, why didn't you do it? Well, I tried, I tried Pepe, I tried. And now I'm sitting in a car scared to death that you're going to find me and yell at me. Even though he means it with love. He just wants us to do well and I can understand that. But we're actually not allowed. We're to. not allowed to be at work if we have the poops. Simple. That's the most simple way I can put it. If you have the poops, you have to go home because it's a food factory and you're not, you're just not allowed. You're not allowed to bring nuts in there. You're not allowed. There's a lot of things you're not allowed to do, but if you have diarrhea, you are not allowed to work. And if you're throwing up, you are not allowed to work. And for two reasons. One, because it's a like it's food. Food goes through there. We're supposed to be cleaning and sanitizing, not putting germs everywhere. And if you're sick, you're going to get everybody you're working with sick, and then everybody's going to get sick, which is what's happening. Our supervisor's sick, and three other people didn't show up today, and Chana. So four people were not there today Who because they were there? sick. Um, well, I'm not going to say names, but our two people... Our supervisor's gone, and then our co-supervisor's gone, and then that's all I know. Two of. people on the other side, and you. On the other side? So five. Wow. Yes. But anyway, I don't want to talk about work anymore. She's eating pizza. She's actually finally feeling good enough to eat, but she's probably going to throw that up. Yep, because I ate before I went to work, and then I walked into work, and I was like, nope. And John's like, why are you staring at the wall? I was like, I'm not. I'm going to throw up. And then I ran into the bathroom, and then I yuked her. Yeah, so today is a pukey day. Um, my camera is actually dying, so this is going to be the end of the vlog. Today's question of the day is, what is your favorite Lunchable? <laughs> uh, mine is pizza. There's hot dog, pizza, chicken nugget, um, then there's like sandwiches you can make with every different kind of meat. Um, the pizza one has three cheese or, um... I like the three cheese pizza ones. They're yeah, my me too. favorite. I really like that cheddar. Anyway, right now I don't want to talk about food because blah. But uh, I hope you guys all had a great day. I tried to have the best day that I could have. And I hope that tomorrow goes better. So if you can, wish me luck. And keep me in your prayers or thoughts or whatever you do. Um, I'm not very religious. But I do respect other people's beliefs. So if you think God can help me, ask him to because I need it. I, I want to do a full day tomorrow. I don't want to miss any more time at work. It makes me feel really bad that it's only the first three weeks and I missed uh, one day and I missed uh, most of today. And I, it, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, all I can't talk. Anyway, it bothers me and I don't want it to be like that anymore. So put some good vibes out there for us and hopefully things will go smoother tomorrow uh we really appreciate that you watch and <laughs> are you gonna say something bye that's it you don't love them i'm just kidding it's really hard for me to swallow right now i love you Good night. The stay in the same is like transformation is played. Developing a new self and I'm overriding the system. You